could you talk about your uh, electric vehicle with Project Better Place and where you plan to go next with your electric vehicle? Yeah. Well, uh, obviously, this is a for us a strategic move, an important move uh, that we started uh, working on uh, two years ago, and we decided to officially move on it. This is an alliance strategy, and it's coming from a very simple uh, observation. Car is the most coveted product that comes with development. So, if we come back to the ratio I gave you. 800 cars per 1,000 inhabitants in the United States and less than 100 in India and China, 200 in Brazil and 250 in Russia, you can imagine the number of cars that will be rolling on earth in the next 10 to 15 years. Even with the stagnation or decline of the car market in Europe and the United States, still is going to be much bigger than what you're seeing today. 10% less fuel consumption. 20% less fuel consumption is not going to make it. The only way you can say people will continue to buy cars because it's a very important product and at the same time you're not going to explode, explode the price of oil and you're not going to deplete completely earth is with zero emission cars. You have to come with zero emission. Zero emission is two options. is electric car or fuel cells. Look at two of them. Electric car is much more ready than fuel cell. What, what, is electric, what is the key to electric car? The battery. The battery. Because everything else is ready. Governments are ready. Public is ready. Everybody is ready for electric, for zero emission car. Everybody is ready. So you just have to solve the problem of the battery. And we are investing massively on the battery. 2011, we have a contract already with the Israelis that we will deliver a car, uh, mass marketed, we are negotiating with Denmark. Uh, we are in negotiation with many other governments and many other cities. Some cars will be Renault, some cars will be Nissan. The battery will always be Nissan. That's what we're doing. We have already said that we want to bring to all the markets in 2012 an electric car. It's not only about one car. It's about a range of cars and diversified electric cars. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about people have to drive electric car because they care about the environment. We want people to want to drive electric car and on top of this they know that they're doing good things for the planet. 2010 in the United States, first product, California, zero emission vehicle. 2011 Israel, Denmark, probably Japan. 2012 global market. We're looking also, we have discussed with the Chinese authority to the opportunity to bring the electric car in China. Particularly that in China uh, Chinese have a long experience about electric bicycle. They have, you know, can produce motors very cheap. They have the know-how about doing these things. So electric car is not another technology in the car industry. Electric car may be the turning point of the car industry. Because it depends what's the incentive. For in, in each country, you have an agreement with the government about what is the incentive. Okay, the Israel said we were going to bring the tax from 72% on imported cars, which is practically all the cars, to 12%. So we have a breakthrough of 60%. It's fine. So we know that we're going to be able to bring the car, make money out of it, have the consumer at the same time very happy to have a zero emission, and the consumer save money himself. Okay? That's fine. In Denmark, we're negotiating the, 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 the frame. In France, the government put 5,000 euro of incentive on the electric car. Uh, so. The, the, the challenge is you want to make sure that the car itself, electric car itself, without the battery, doesn't cost more than a normal car, which is feasible, but there's no reason. And then the most important equation that the battery cost, whatever is leased, rented, whatever you want, okay, the battery cost plus electricity is lower than gasoline. The car is a very coveted product and you know that it's impossible with the present technology that every single person on earth who would like the car can get it. So something is going to happen and we think today the technology is ready for this breakthrough to happen.